Hi there and welcome back to the Dark Queen of Kryn. I am Baron and we enter the ninth level of the lighthouse. So we are facing eastwards here. Okay. There is a poorly hidden pit in the floor to your north. I wish it would show on the area view thingy. The stone here is hot. It's getting hot in here. Her. Oh well. Um, let's move on. There are shattered remains of some sort of statue here. Really. You know, I'm somewhat disappointed. I thought we would get good loot here. We don't. You are attacked by a patrol of gorgons and a tan beholder. Um, probably not from behind, right? No. Where's the beholder? Okay, um... Actually move on here and but I don't care. The Beholder is more dangerous. Yo? And now a uh, cause serious wounds. No? Okay, I thought. We attack you. Good night. Hey! Good riddance. Not dead yet. Oops. Why did uh, Randy Spears only have one attack? You should always have two. Thank you. 5066 experience points. We can camp and fix and save and uh, move on. So we are on the ninth level. Area view probably still doesn't work. No. There are shattered remains of some sort of statue here. Okay. Yeah, and again, there's a patrol of gorgons and a tan beholder. Oh, can't get to the... that sucks. That means we have to do something about that. Because I have to get to the beholder quickly.
let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, I don't care about you. Why are you attacking Randy Spears? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, bought your sleep. And she only had one attack. Hmm. God. Done. God. Okay. Oh, and now the hole is there. Okay. We don't really need to uh, jump into the hole. So that's pretty much all we can do. We go in here. And the stone here is hot, okay. We climb to the tenth level. Level ten. Oh hell, where are we now? We are facing into east on direction, that means we're here. Okay, so there's a corpse here, but it's too mutilated to identify. So we go uh, to the south and again to the south and to the west and to the north and to the west. Okay, one step to the north, to the east and to the north. Iron Golem stand at attention in front of a heavy wooden door. What do you do? I don't like Iron Golems, we attack them. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a lot of Iron Golems. Well, they have an AC, they have an AC of 3. That's not, too, that's not too good, actually. How about you yell? Yeah, it doesn't work. Thought it might. We could uh, use a uh, cast a lightning ball to slow them down somewhat. So that's what we do. Done. Cast a lightning bolt. Manual. Target. Nice. Um, okay, let's start attacking them. First one dead. You just ended. Oh, for crying out loud, they come around.
You'll move over here. Dan. Guard. Ah, shit. They still moved over here. Unaffected, of course, you can't stun can't stun a golem. Okay. That's your cue to move away. Or maybe not. Let's see. Oh, dang it. Oh. Thank you. And we are victorious. Sixteen thousand nine hundred seventy-five experience points. That's enough for Randy Spears to level. That's awesome. So we're facing into northern direction. That's not where we want to go. We want to go in here. So we encamp and fix and save. Uh, and can, but let's take a look. You have 3.6 million experience points. You have 3.5 million experience points. That's still cool. I just want to check whether anybody has been level drained. No, apparently not. <coughs> so we go to the eleventh level. That's nice. What do we have here? This door is locked. Well, pick it. You tried. You have found a false door. Um, force the door. You are the strongest. No, it doesn't work. So we can't go through here. Descending the stairs to level 10. Um, that's unfortunate. It just looked like it all, apparently. So we go to the south. Ah, that's new. An elf woman dressed in leaves and flowers lies dying on the floor. She has been crushed by the fall of a stone gorgon. There is no indication of how this came about. What do you do? We remove the stone gorgon. Well, you tried. Rekul Darien heaves aside the heavy statue. Struggling for breath, she speaks. You must reach Festilian. Take my gear. I'm spent. Tell him. She coughs and the darkness comes over her features. No, heal her. Suddenly, an odd look comes into her eyes and she speaks again. It must be under the porch. Uh, what is under the porch? It is too late and she, final she is finally at peace. 
and you never knew her name. Do you take her gear? Yes. Okay, what do we get? Um, items? Long sword and braces. Detect. Um. Oh, it's all magical. You take the long sword, and you actually take the braces. So um, we have a one d six plus eleven. One D eight plus ten. And the attacker still of one, okay? It's maybe I don't really know. It's probably a plus four sword, long sword. But I don't know why the damage uh was reduced from plus eleven to plus ten, but the base damage is better. What did you get? You have an AC of minus one and you have braces of AC six. Minus five. Holy shit. So those braces are much better apparently. Okay. That's all. We don't need your steel. We exit. Hmm. Okay. Below the porch, she said. Well, we could go to the north. You hear fell voices speaking in a strange tongue. So let's go to the east. The floor to your East is a simple illusion covering a gaping pit. We encamp, we rest. Okay, um, now things will get a little tricky. Um, you cast a bless. And you also cast a prayer. Okay, that should improve our saving throws and shit. So we will save. And now we will actually um, go below the porch by jumping into that hole. As you notice the poor quality of the illusion that hides a gaping hole in the floor, you suddenly realize that you stepped out into thin air and you all tumble down into a dark pit. As you fall, you have a brief sensation of something sizzling through you. You feel motionless. You're falling. After a very long fall, you land with a crash of armor on something soft, squishy and foul-smelling. And we are hurt. We are immediately aware of the stench of whatever slimy stuff it is that you landed on. Then you begin to notice your surroundings. This is recorded as journal entry 32. Well, let's try and find that then. The hideous cavern. The foul cavern is covered with mounds of filth, decay and rotting corpses. Some of the corpses 
are those of enormous spiders and huge bats. Others are of humanoid form. The stench is overwhelming. Torn and rotting flesh is mixed with something even fouler. The only illumination is a pale green light which comes from all around you. By the light of this hideous glow you suddenly see forms rising from the mounds of filth. Great otyuks rise up from the filth to attack you. Immense purple worms slither towards you. Huge beetles seem to come out of the very earth itself. You are surrounded by hideous foes. Awesome. Um. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, would you be so kind and let me do something? Oh, I don't like the look of that. This calls for a delayed blast fireball. Manual. One, two, three, four. Well, you item, you get your melee weapons out. And take a look around. Oh, there's still lots of creatures here. You yell. Let's take a look. As long as the Otyuk is blocking, uh, the purple worm can't come to Kobe Tai. That's good. Let's deal with the guys up here now. I think that's a good idea. So you also cast a delayed blast fireball. Let's see. One, two, three. Targeted here. Okay, another delayed blast fireball. One, two, three, four. Where to next? Could try and get rid of you. Or we could try and get rid of you. I say we try and get rid of you. Oh, there are more. But I think the purple worms are more dangerous actually. Because they can uh, poison us.
just no I don't kill around here use a delayed blast fireball and you target it here So I think we're getting the situation under control now. A regular fireball should do the trick here. And another fireball for you guys. What if you're the first to cast? That's cool too. There's nobody else around here, right? Just those two guys. You delay. So, well, well, well. One, two, three, four. You probably don't need to do anything. Okay, I think we are done. No, we will not continue. 24,000, almost 25,000 experience points. That's a lot. This is the deepest and most grotesque mount of Carrion and Ophel. What could you do? Uh, we leave it alone. We encamp and save. Can we fix? No, we can't fix. Okay. Hmm. Well, 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 we are facing north here. This is east. Okay, I get it. What is here? Nothing apparently. Hmm. Then we go to the south and to the west. You see something sparkling in a pool of stinking slime. Do you take it? Yes. And we found treasure. Money. One jewelry and 14 gems. And items. Boots. You take the boots. They're probably uh, boots of speed. I At least I hope so. You have a movement rate of 12 now, if you would ready them. Still have a bo uh, movement rate of 12. Hmm. Okay, we will have to identify them. Um, that's for sure.
we look around here. Beneath the immense corpse of a pop warm eclipse steel, do you take it? Yes. 166 experience points. What do we get? 500 steel, I don't need it. Item wise? Helms. You know what? Um, you detect. Then you take a look at the items. The helms are not magical. The boots are not magical. Then we drop them. And the arrows are not magical either. See? That's sad. Drop them. And we exit. No, I don't want it. So we are facing um, south. And we look around here. Under the carcasses of two huge beds, you find treasure. Do you take it? Sure. The party has found treasure. What do we get? Two more jewels and ten more gems. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So let's head to the north then. And this is the deepest and most grotesque mount of carrion and offal. We will leave it alone for now and actually deal with that in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.